We need to talk more about listening. First off, if this is the first time that you've landed here, my channel is about mental health and well-being. I talk about my feelings and my emotions and how I get on in the world in spite of some of the ways that I feel. And if that feels like something that might be a benefit to you, then please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know each and every time I post a new video. So I'm outside today because the sun's been out for about a week now for anyone that's living in the UK, or at least in England anyway. I don't think it's like it in Scotland. Uh, you'll know that the weather has been lovely and I've been enjoying the sun. I want to talk today about listening because I think that the real power in any kind of communication comes in the listening and we have to understand that talking is good and promoting people to talk about the ways that they feel is important but the real power is in being heard and I think that often gets missed. You know the reality is is that Nakoa have taught me the real art of listening. Listening not to reply, not to fix, not to change but listening so that someone might feel heard. You know, I've said it a few times before and anybody that follows my stuff will know that I talk about stepping into somebody's darkness and sitting for a while. That's something that I think we struggle with. We struggle with holding space for people so that they might feel heard. It's very difficult to get yourself out of the way when you're listening to somebody else. It's very difficult to not bring our own barriers to the communication. I've always spoke, I've always done a lot of talking all my life, but the reality is that my life began to change when I spoke to somebody that made me feel heard. The first person that I did that to was a friend and I felt like he would at least have the compassion and understanding of where I was at and that was true, he did, and, and from there my life began to change. But I remember when I first started opening up about my dad to the people at Nakoa, and it was the first time that when I spoke about feeling sad, they didn't hit me with the answer of, oh, okay, well, if you feel sad, let's try this to make you feel happy. I would tell them that I felt angry about stuff and they would say, of course you do. No more than that, just of course you do. And the validation that come with that for me was life-changing. And I started to realize that when I listen to people, I often listen, I know it's cliche, but to give the response. And I start thinking about how I can fix and how I can change it for them and how I can put it right. And, you know, holding space when somebody tells you something that's really difficult to hear is hard enough. It's even harder when you think you know the right answer for them to just still hold that space and let them go there. But that's what Nakoa did for me and that's what they've made me realise is that when I'm listening to people to, to really go deep and beyond what they're saying, to listen on a much deeper level and... When you recognize the power in that, you start to realize how little you've ever felt heard in your life. Not because we don't talk enough, but because we don't listen enough. And in nearly all of the work that I do, I want that to be my message, that we need to listen more. I'm going to finish on an analogy, and it's one that I use whenever I talk about Nakoa and what they did for me, and it's one that I use whenever I'm trying to tell people about listening. Most of my life I felt like I was on a sinking ship and I was sinking and I was just keeping my head above the water and I had a bucket and I was just emptying the water out just quick enough so just so my head could stay above the water so that I could breathe. And people did see my struggle when they came and they saw my ship was off course and they jumped on and they would get my ship on course and then they would leave and everybody would celebrate. Look, we fixed Josh, he's back sorted. Of course my ship went straight off course because throughout that whole time of them coming on and getting me back on course, my experience never changed. I'm still emptying the bucket and trying to keep my head above the water. I believe the real way that we support people is you jump on the ship and you grab a bucket yourself. You start emptying the water and it allows the person that's struggling to go up and try and get back on course themselves. As you empty the water with the bucket, you'll notice that that person goes up and they, they're going the wrong way, they're going right and you know they should be going left but you keep your mouth shut just keep emptying the water because eventually nearly everyone will get themselves back on course and when they do it will be through empowerment they would have got themselves there themselves with your support and so they're much less likely to go off course and if they do they know how to get back on course that's how we support people so today has been about listening i hope you've listened to the end all right because it'll be ironic if you haven't <laughs> Um, as ever, if the video has been useful to you, please like it out to the channel to grow um, and share with anybody that might find it of benefit and I will see you again soon.